Jerry Norton. Thank you. Come on up, Jerry. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you, Marco. Guys, give it up for Marco. Do you guys know that we decided to do this like three weeks ago? And Marco pulled this together, amazing. I didn't think it was possible that you could put an event together in really just a few weeks. Thank all of you for coming here. Excited to be here with you. I can't believe you guys, you know, jumped on a plane, flew out here. You're spending this time out here. And I hope you're excited about this. I love the slide that Carlos had up there, the last slide. Did you guys see that? It said, Puerto Rico is open for business. And uh, were you guys just blown away with all of these different tax incentives? And I mean, I'm continually learning about them. It's just amazing that there's an environment here on the island where they want you and me to come here and invest. They want us to live here, invest in the economy, invest in the business, in real estate. And so that's been just really eye-opening for me. When uh, What happened for me as I'm living in Arizona, paying a lot in taxes. Um, I'm a flipper. That's kind of my background in real estate, 20 years development, flipping, all high tax type strategies. And, um, and so my wife and I, we, we learn about this Puerto Rico tax incentive. We do a exploratory trip out here for like three days. This is the end of March, 2021. We make an offer on our house and we move here with 10 kids. Number 10 is three months old on May 1. Okay. End of March. We're here full-time residents. May 1. That's how fast we kind of made the decision. Um, I made two promises to my wife that I would slow down and not work as much and not do real estate in Puerto Rico. Both were lies. She's, both were lies. Yeah, she's here. Um, where is she? Oh, there she is. <laughs> she's amazing. Yep. Uh, very hard thing to ask somebody to do. And it's not been easy. And that's kind of what I want to talk a little bit about. There's, uh, when I first came here, I thought, well, I'm going to participate in this specific tax incentive called Act 60. What it allows you to do is, is export your services to the mainland while living here, in essence, at a 4% tax rate, right? So pretty cool. Um, but I did not know about all of the real estate tax incentives until I got here. And I didn't realize that Puerto Rico was such an amazing opportunity that that's experiencing a lot of growth. I don't know if you guys know this, but tourism is up in Puerto Rico 40% since COVID. Uh, the cruise lines are fired up, right, Sharif? Sharif was going to talk a little bit about this. Um, it was, I think I read it was the 14th most traveled destination in like all of tourism from the U.S. Because think about it, we're in the Caribbean, no, no, uh, no passport in the U.S. dollar. It's kind of cool, right? And so there's going to be continued growth. I kind of think about it. Uh, I was talking with Vina a little bit earlier. And um, if you think about Dallas, Texas, like right now, Dallas, Texas is like a really hot market. Who, who knows that? I mean, what are, what are cap rates, like four or something right now? Uh, just an on-fire market. Well, what if you would have known about Dallas 10 years ago? What if I would have said to you, hey, you should invest in Dallas right now. What would you have done knowing what you know now about Dallas, Texas? Would you have done it? You probably would have bought anything and everything, and it wouldn't even have matter. There would be no underwriting process. Just buy it, right? That's Puerto Rico, in essence. Puerto Rico, in my opinion, and, and I think Sharif and many will agree, it's on the verge of massive explosion. These tax incentives are here right now today because Puerto Rico wants us to come here and invest. Uh, I, think I, I think I also read that the GDP is like 4 or 5%. And it should be more like 25 or 30 percent tourism. And so, um, and this isn't like uh, when I first heard about it, I said, you know, it's probably like in the U.S. when you try to get a grant. You know, like it sounds great in theory, but it's like impossible to get. That's not the case here. The tourism department, they will meet out at your project. They will walk it with you. They will help you. They want to see you succeed as an investor here. It's really, it's really amazing. And so I start learning about these, uh, these opportunities here. Um, not just in the in the hospitality, but just in general. Like there's demand here uh, in the neighborhood where I live. The, the, some of you guys are going to come tomorrow night. You'll see Palmas del Mar, which is the resort community where I live. One of my neighbors, Davin Michaels, is here. Raise your hand, Davin. I mean, I'm in a community of ultra successful, wealthy entrepreneurs. Those are my neighbors. It's really fun to be around. Uh, Davin's one of them, one of the most successful entrepreneurs I know, and he's here, like you guys, learning about these tax incentives as well. 
And so I start to see this opportunity. So I buy some lots. These are ocean lots. I'm, I'm building, you know, five and six million dollar homes and doing some flips and, and start to learn about some of these things and realize what's the hardest thing about doing any type of value add. A lot of the opportunity here is value add, doing something to improve it. This is my experience, 20 years flipping houses, multi-million dollar projects, renovating. Is renovating a challenge? Anybody done some renovating? Yeah, anybody, any flippers in here? Okay, here we go, yeah. What's, yeah, thank you. What's, what's one of the challenges anywhere when you do a value add? Yeah, contractors, right? Oh my gosh, who's experienced that? I still experience that after 20 years. It's challenging, isn't it? Labor, materials, budgets, all of that is very challenging. In Puerto Rico, it's even more challenging. That's one of the hardest things about Puerto Rico is not the opportunity. The opportunities are here. In fact, I get so many opportunities that, that nothing in the states I look at even can compare to Puerto Rico. And I, and I mean that with sincerity. There's some really good deals that you can do here. But boots on the ground is a challenge, right? So that's become a big priority for me. We, we actually now have our own construction company, so we can control all of the permitting. We can control uh, the workforce. What I found is uh, it's not so much that there's a lack of labor. I thought that at first. It's more like there's a lack of leadership. It's hard to manage the labor, organize it provide good leadership, you know, just run a really well, well done project. And so we've, we've dialed that in and we figured that out on my first hotel. I'll talk about in a second. That's the one thing that we now really have a good handle on. We've got a great team now to do the projects. And so we're now looking to scale, right? We can now scale. The challenge you're going to have isn't as much finding the opportunities. I think you guys are all great networkers. You guys learn how to do that, learn how to find deals. If you're not, just start talking to some of the people in this room, you'll be amazed at the opportunities that you'll find here. Boots on the ground is the challenge. You know, getting those projects to completion is the challenge. So what I wanna do is when I, when I first came here, I started talking to my investors in the mainland, say, hey, I got this project I'm doing, I'm doing these amazing deals. And they're like, Costa Rica? I'm like, no, not Costa Rica, Puerto Rico. It's not, this, it's not Costa Rica, but that's what people think. How many of you thought Costa Rica? You know, like they think, they think third world is what they think. And it's just foreign enough to where it's scary enough that I was having a real challenge getting investors to like come and see it. Uh, it's funny because I joke around with Pace, uh, Pace Morby, one of my dear friends. I would talk about Puerto Rico with Pace and he'd be like, yeah, 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 I don't care about Puerto Rico. I'm not doing Puerto Rico. Don't, I don't want to see anything in Puerto Rico. Don't show me anything in Puerto Rico. Then guess what? I got him out here. I took him to my hotel. I took him around old San Juan. I showed him my projects I'm doing in, in Palmas del Mar. And guess what he said by the end of the day? Who wants to do a deal in Puerto Rico with me? That's what, that's what he said, yeah. That's what he said, because he saw it and you can feel it. There's a vibe here and you can feel that this, there's this massive growth about to happen here. And so that's why we wanted to put this event on. We wanted to bring you out here. The thing about the hotel project that, uh, that you're going to see tomorrow, you're going to see three hotels tomorrow. You're going to see my hotel, that would, which is almost open. We should be open in another month. And then you're, we're going to see two more hotels with Sharif. Sharif, raise your hand. Do you guys know who Sharif Medawar is? Raise your hand if you know Sharif. Okay, so the, the largest commercial property owner in Old San Juan, I think over $100 million in real estate in Old San Juan, very strategic. He's been here 20 years. He's very focused heavily on a very specific area of Old San Juan. Who's been to Old San Juan? Not yet? Okay. If you haven't, you have to go there. It's a magical place. Isn't it, Sharif? There, it's, there's nothing else like it. It feels very much like Europe in a lot of ways. It's 500-year-old city. And, um, and so it's, it's a place that is going to continually draw crowds and crowds of people forever. And we have two hotels there, Sharif and I, that we're, that we're partnering on that are in, these are landmark. I don't want to steal all your thunder, Sharif. He's going to talk about these a little bit later. But these are landmark buildings. These are iconic buildings. And so you guys are going to get a chance to see this firsthand. You're going to see the, the first hotel, then we're going, to, we're going to do two groups, and you're going to see the other two. Um, these are special projects. Like you know, I've done a lot of real estate, and most of it's just for me, it's a widget. You know, it's just like another thing. 
you know, you do it, you buy it, you fix it, you flip it, whatever. It's, it's great, but uh, these are something, to be part of this, to me, is something really special. And we want you to feel that. So what Sharif and I talked about doing was, hey, well, why don't we bring people out? Why don't we allow them to see and actually participate? Guys, these are projects we already own. That's one of the things. I want to talk about, de- Vina calls it de-risk, de-risking. When you invest in something, you want to, how do you de-risk it? Well, there's a couple things that are really special about this. These are properties we already own. We're doing these projects with or without you, right? We're doing them. We're actually inviting you to partner with us and be part of these projects if you want to, if you see that as well. We want to open that up to you because we want to scale. We want to do more projects. We want to, we know that 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 has to happen with lots of people. And one thing I've learned is I like to make money. Sharif makes a lot of money. You know, I think that's fun. But what's more fun is to do that with other people. Isn't that fun? Uh, it's, fun to, it's fun to know Marco and get to know him, but it's fun to grow with him. And we're doing some cool things together. And it's fun to meet someone like that and grow together. And that's kind of what we're hoping to do. So this fund that we have to invest in these hotels uh, we're opening this up to investors. Minimum is just 25000 We wanted to make it so that you could get in on this and, and partner with us and be a part of this. One of the things that, uh, that Sharif and I want to do too, we're both really into education, is the investors that come in, uh, we can't do this with everybody, so we might have to have a minimum of, of maybe 100000 but we want to open up these hotels to where you can actually come and, and spend time with us in these hotels, the first one um, has an event center. We built, we're built, you guys will see this tomorrow. We're building a state of the art podcast studio. We're gonna be at these hotels. You can come and stay there, uh, record content with us, learn with us. We'll mastermind together. That's not what we're doing. This is an investment in the hotel, but we're adding that on as a really special component so that, because we know you guys care about that. And it's important for you to continually grow and develop and learn. And so that's something we're doing that's really special with, this, uh, with these projects is the investors that invest with us will also be able to come back and stay in the hotels and um, you know, learn, mastermind, do content with us here in Puerto Rico. So that's something that's uh, really fun we're doing as well. Um, yeah, you're welcome, yeah. Who's excited about that? Uh, a, a, little bit about, um, you know, a little bit about these projects is, Again, going back to de-risk, you know, Vina talks about, you know, you want, when you invest, you want to de-risk your investment. Is, uh, I mentioned the location. These are phenomenal locations. That's very important when, I think, when you do hotel, you want to make sure you've got constantly high traffic. Uh, all of these hotel projects are, I think, what, a 10-minute Uber ride from the airport? The best beaches, all the restaurants, all the activity. So prime locations and, and just experiencing massive growth. Uh, my hotel in Santurce, it's in the art district, and you're just seeing all of this money come into that, that whole area and the surrounding area. You guys will see this when you go tomorrow. So phenomenal location, high traffic, um, and then the tax incentives. So the tax incentives, we're, we're doing a debt fund, so it's not an equity fund, it's a debt fund, but it's, it's because of the tax incentive, it makes the investment such a lower risk because we're recapitalizing so much of the money. Do you guys catch what Carlos shared up there? We're doing the 40% tax incentive. Do you guys realize what that means? It means the cost of the purchase of the hotels, the, all of the value at all the renovation, all of the cost of improvement, first year of operating expenses, all of that, you add all of that up and they give you 40% of that back to you in a credit that's transferable that trades for 95 cents on the dollar. It's like we flipped it, but we kept it. That's what it feels like to me. But seriously, we're getting millions of dollars back to create these hotels that have high occupancy and, and very high destination areas. Isn't that amazing? So think about that. That's just, I've never heard of something so incredible as that, right? So, and, and Opportunity Zone. So you also have the opportunity zone going on there. So what we're hoping to do is we're hoping to uh, bring you out here, and actually have you walk these properties, see these. Um, there's a, a, the first hotel is called Looking Glass, and then uh, there's the other two that are in Old San Juan. 
But we want you guys tomorrow, we're going to do the bus tour, and we're really excited to show, show these to you. The first one, there's a, there's a restaurant on the first level, and then there's 22 rooms, and then we built an event center on the fourth floor with a podcast studio, and then there's rooftop access. And, um, and we're going to put a pool up there. And so it's just, we're hoping that these projects are, are, the idea here is that when people come and they stay in these boutique hotels, we call it Instagrammable. Right, where it's something people take a picture of. It's not just staying at a, 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 one of the brand hotels. It's an experience. We're trying to create an experience. And, uh, and you can do that with a boutique because you can bring a lot of character to that project. And we want it to be a place where people come back to and bring their family. And so we're, we're making these really nice and, and just have this kind of unique Puerto Rican experience that people can have when they come here. Okay, so I think we've got, Marco, like a QR code. If you guys are interested, even if you're not interested and you just want to learn more about the hotel industry and, and that business, but uh, we have a QR code. It's just a simple form there. We want to invite you to fill that out if you're interested in investing in these projects, partnering with, with us in these projects. It's a way for you to get involved in, in the hotel business and get involved in real estate in Puerto Rico without having to go through all of the brain damage of creating your own crews and being on the ground and doing all of the hard part of the operations. That part we've, we've now dialed in and figured out. And we will continue to dial that in and figure that out. Um, which is one of the reasons why um, Sharif and I are, are partnering on these, these two new hotels in Old San Juan. They're big projects. They're gonna be, they're, they're basically from scratch, right? We've got a build these out, but we've got the design, we've got the plan, we've got the team, we've got the vision, and you will be part of something, like I said, legendary, iconic in Puerto Rico. Um, and that's also, for me, something special. I want, I want to kind of, I'm now focusing a lot of, on legacy, right? It's making money's great, but giving back, having impact in the world, and having a legacy is, is special too. And we want to invite you guys to be part of that. So just this resort. Who thinks this place is absolutely amazing? And it's cool. So I hope you guys also have time to kind of experience and see some of Puerto Rico too.